Today we are going to discuss about cell cycle. The cell cycle is a series of events which takes place to divide a parental cell into two daughter cells. It has four stages. Those are G1 phase, S phase, G2 phase and M phase. To understand the function and significance of each phase, you need to learn the cell cycle properly. And also to know how the DNA replication and the cell division are systematically occurred to divide the parental cell into two healthy daughter cells. Mitosis is the cell division procedure in which two daughter cells are produced which are identical to their parental cell. Before any cell division, the cell goes through a ordered sequence of events which are collectively called as cell cycle. As we know, cell cycle has four prominent stages. G1 or gap 1 phase, S or synthesis phase, G2 or gap 2 phase and M or mitosis phase. Basically, cell cycle has two main events, DNA replication and chromosomal segregation. In the S phase or synthesis phase of the cell cycle, the DNA replication takes place. And in the mitosis phase or M phase, the chromosomal segregation occurs. Between the ACE and M phase, there are two gap phases, G1 phase and G2 phase. In the gap phases, the cell gets the scope to check whether it has the necessary materials and energy for proceeding to the next phase. There are checkpoints within the gap phases. The checkpoint between G1 and S phase check the error and ensures that the DNA is undamaged before proceeding to the synthesis phase. The checkpoint within the G2 and M phase ensures that the DNA is replicated properly before entering the M phase. The cell cycle may be stopped if these two requirements are not successfully done. Prior to any cell division, all of its DNA must be replicated which occurs in the synthesis phase or S phase. In the synthesis phase, two key events occurs. The first one is DNA replication and the second one is sister chromatid cohesion. Each DNA molecule get duplicated by the cellular DNA replication machinery during the time of replication. Each DNA molecule which is newly formed is called a chromatid. And when those duplicated DNA molecules are in pairs, they are called sister chromatids. There is a process named sister chromatid cohesion which helps the sister chromatids together and the protein complex which is responsible for linking the sister chromatids together is called cohesin. After completion of the duplication of all the DNA or genome, the cell successfully passed the G2 gap phase and then the cell is ready for mitosis. During the time of mitosis, the sister chromatids move to the opposite direction by going towards the opposite poles of the cell. Thus, when the parental cell divides, each daughter cell gets exactly the same sets of chromosomes. 
In the process of mitosis, there are four successive stages prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. After the completion of mitosis, the cytokinesis process starts, which divides the cell into two daughter cells. When the cell does not undergo mitosis, it stays in interphase, that is, G1, ACE, and G2 phase of cell cycle. Here, DNAs are being shown in this straight format for simplifying it, but in mitosis, the compact contained stages of chromosomes are only present. In prophase, chromosomes get highly condensed and prepares for segregation. And then, nuclear envelope breakdown takes place. Microtubule organizing centers also migrate to the opposite poles of the cell, which signals entry into the metaphase. In metaphase, microtubules arise from microtubule organizing centers, which are present in each pole of the cell, attach the kinetochore of the centromere of the each linked sister chromatin pair to the opposite pole of the cell. This is the bivalent attachment. Each daughter cell gets the exact same number of chromosomes due to this bivalent attachment. Now, the microtubules start pulling the sister chromatids towards the each pole. But, due to the presence of cohesine rings, chromosomes are aligned in the middle or the equatorial region of the cell. In anaphase, at first, the cohesins between the sister chromatids are lost and then those chromosomes start to migrate towards the opposite pole as microtubules start to pull them. And finally, in telophase, new nuclear envelope starts to appear and two nuclei form each containing a full set of chromosomes. Telophase is the last stage of mitosis. The cell finally divides into two daughter cells. Those are identical to each other and this is done by the process of cytokinesis. Thus, the two new daughter cells separate physically.